Good evening, Wheelchair Fort Sports fans. Once again, this is Wheelchair Football Tonight. I am Jimmy Anderson, and you are going to see one of the most exciting games in Pasadena Wheelchair Football League history here with the end zones against the Houston Hurricanes. I promise it'll live up to its height. There you're taking a look at the end zones. Dressed in yellow, those yellow jerseys there, they're being led by Alan Montross. And in a moment, you're going to take a look at the Houston Hurricanes who have their proper quarterback in Johnny Martinez. Keep in mind, this is the third game of this night. Johnny Martinez is playing in it. Once again, he's starting. As far as I'm concerned, this qualifies him for marathon man status. It's quite frankly amazing. Chuck Anderson's playing as well. Selvin Rodriguez, you got to keep your eye on. Mariano Rodriguez, or Selvin uh, Velasquez, I should say. Let's just take a look at the first half, and I'll try to get everybody's names right. And watch this. Alan Matros He's going to get the snap right here. I'm going to try to get it to Josh Franklin. Unfortunately, it went over his head. Selvin had coverage there. Watch this. Once again, Alan Montross looking for his man. And he overshoots it again, but that time Josh Franklin fell down. That's Selvin Valasquez right there next to him. Now watch this. Both teams being very sportsmanlike, both helping him out. There's Johnny Martinez, as we mentioned. Selvin Valasquez making sure he's okay. Now then, Alan Montross once again. Look at this deep throw. But <laughs> it's beautiful right there. It was to Ramos. It was complete. Comes the very next play of the game. Montross coming for a deep throw. But it goes to Salvin Valesquez. It was intended for Josh Franklin. It didn't quite happen. That's going to go right back to the Hurricanes. Watch this. Johnny Martinez goes right up to Selvin. Big game. Tackled that time by David Enderley. Player I haven't seen yet. Now, here comes Johnny Martinez once again with another pass. This time it's going to go to Mariano Rodriguez. Short pass, but a good one. Mariano coming off of a year and a half shoulder injury that has debilitated him from playing wheelchair sports. We're going to see how it affects him tonight. Kevin Seaman snaps to Johnny Martinez. But watch this! Evan Montross of the other team gets the sack. It's going to go uh, right back to the end zones here in the next play. Take a look. Montross, look at this now. He's going to fake pass. He's going to run upright. He's going to get a huge gain into the red zone. I didn't quite get it. Mariano got that tackle. So far, that shoulder injury is not affecting him one bit. Here was the fourth down for the end zones. They need the points. They know it. Montross scrambling right here. He's going to pass it off. Josh Franklin, and it was incomplete. Overshot him. It goes right back to the Hurricanes. There you see Johnny Martinez takes the snap. Passes to Mariano. Who gets it. But he dropped it, unfortunately. A big, tough break for the Hurricanes. It's the first punt of the game, Johnny Martinez. Here comes Alan Matros to return it. Returns it about midfield or so, but Selvin gets the tackle. It's Selvin Velasquez there. Nice return. Hurricanes, for this particular play, Kevin snapped it to Johnny Martinez. Short pass to Selvin. Gets the first to down right there. Now Hurricanes right here. Now you're gonna see Selvin Velasquez and Johnny Martinez kind of talking strategy right here, trying to figure out a way to counter the speed of Montross and the end zones. Now, here we go with the next snap. Next pass, and it is picked off by Enderley, who gets it up to midfield. Beautiful play right there. It's going right back to the end zones for the very next play. Take a look at it. Montross, you saw an interception there, but watch Montross right here, throws it, and guess what? We got another pick. Mariano gets it, gets it back to the line of scrimmage. Amazing play, great defensive strategies. It is becoming a defensive slugfest, but in any case, great quarterback action 
Johnny Martinez of the Hurricanes. Looks like he's trying to get it to Selvin Valdez, and he overshot him, though. It could have been a touchdown. Another bad break for the Hurricanes. Now, here for the second half, the O-line made mass substitutes to counter Montross's speed, as we mentioned earlier. Now, here's Johnny Martinez. This time, Mariano gets it. Another big break game right there. Now, they're working in tandem tonight. Let's see if they can do it the second time. Let's see if they can make two passes in a row. Martinez, unfortunately, doesn't happen. Overshot Mariano Rodriguez. And this next play, we're going to go back to the end zones. Alan Montross quarterbacking once again. Nice pass right there. Nice spiral. Unfortunately, though, it didn't happen. Play now. Here comes a putt from... Josh Franklin, Selvin, is going to return it. Now watch, he thinks he has a lane right here, but he was stopped by Alan Montross. Nice play right there. Now, we're going to go back to the Hurricanes here for the next play, as you're going to see Chuck Anderson snapping to Martinez. There's that twister twosome we talked about once again. Now, once he snaps, you're going to watch. You don't want to keep your eye on Johnny Martinez, and he keeps his eye on Mary. Now watch this. Beautiful juggling catch right there. Just amazing. Now he's going to ask me a question. Here. Yes, I did get it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Now, I don't know if you caught it, but Mark Ramos actually got a sack on Johnny Martinez, so that interception by Jacob was negated because of the sack. Now, we're going to go back to the end zones with Alan Montross with the snap. Now, look at this. Almost intercepted by Mariano. So close yet so far. Seems to be the theme of the game. There you see Josh Franklin and Mariano making sure they don't fall over in each other's chair. Now watch this. This here is possibly one of the most controversial plays we've ever seen. Johnny Martinez shoved over deliberately by Josh Franklin. There you hear Chuck Anderson calling a timeout. The umps didn't see it. That would have been for sure a penalty. We're going to take a look at it again. It's possibly the most dangerous play that we've ever seen. Johnny Martinez back up. Now, I don't want to personally attack Josh Franklin. That was a great intensity right there, but it was far too aggressive. He needs to be careful. He could have injured him right there. Players have to be careful at all times. Now we're going to go to the very next play. Mariano gets the first touchdown of the game. Amazing. A calling timeout right there. Now here comes the play for the extra point. There's 40 seconds left. Selvin Rodriguez, Selvin Velasquez, I'll get it right in a second. He's going to make a very heads up play that'd make Bill Belichick beam with the light. Now, watch this. Johnny pitches it to Selvin. Now, Selvin's going backwards. Why is he going the other way? He's not Corrigan. He's not Ron Clay Corrigan. Instead, he pitches it on to Josh Franklin, who knocks it up. Now, he falls down. He was intending it for two receivers in that area. He took time off the clock, 17 seconds in fact. It was not illegal grounding. He did that intentionally to take time off the clock. He had two receivers in that area. Very heads up play. Now, Johnny Martinez would kick it off in this case. I'm still trying to get over those two plays, man. Those were amazing. Now Montross is going to return it. Now watch this. There's only 23 seconds left. The clock is still ticking. Martinez trying to find it, or rather that's Matras trying to find an opening. Now watch this. He's going. He's still going. He is so close to the end zone. He's in the red zone. There's only time for one more play. If they can get the touchdown and the extra point, they will win the game. Time's running out. There's only four seconds left in this play in possibly the most exciting and intense game in Pasadena Wheelchair Football League history. Jacob quarterbacking this time. Take a look. He did not get it. Matros missed it. That was the play that ended the game. Time ran out. No time left whatsoever. I have, folks, have never seen a more intense game than what we just saw. I want to reiterate that play with Josh Franklin. It's okay to be aggressive. He was, however, a little too aggressive. 
He did not mean any ill will or ill intent, in my opinion, to Johnny Martinez when he shoved him over. He even apologized afterward. So, Josh Franklin, it wasn't a fair play, but he's a very intense player, and that's something I think we can all appreciate. You just got to be careful of your intensity. You got to be careful of your aggression. You can't really control your bodies in wheelchairs as well as you can if it would be a regular regular regulation game. But for this game, we've got to wrap it up. I mean, I... You gotta have, I'm just, I'm speechless. It's just such an amazing game that we just saw. We hope you enjoyed it and that you'll join us for the next Wheelchair Football tonight. Until then, for now, this is Jimmy Anderson signing off for Old School Media and Wheelchair Football tonight.